right, let's take a look at the transport area real quick because, you know, this is where, wait for it, this is where all the magic happens. I, I'm a man of my word, I promised I was gonna use it in every segment, so there it is. In any case, the transport section, while it's simple, it has a, a few cool features that I really, really love. So, obviously play, stop, play, and pause. Now what's really cool about that is, uh, coming from Pro Tools, I'm used to the command of when you stop the transport, it goes back to the, the starting point. Uh, in Persona Studio 3, Studio One 3, you can, that's an option that you can choose, and I have that set. So if I press play, and I press stop, it goes right back to the beginning. What's really cool about this is you get, as Van Halen would say, you get best of both worlds. So play, stop, play, pause. And uh, it can continue on right from that section when you, once you hit play again. And in case, uh, in case you didn't know, uh, we're going to be listening to a little bit of a, a demo I'm doing using the uh, Harry Potter theme. So Harry Potter fans rejoice, right? We have, if you can see on the screen right now, the scroll, which is really nice. So if I'm, uh, if I'm in the process of actually doing a mix, I can keep, keep flying back. Reverse and forward. And of course, if you hit both of them at the same time, RTZ, which is really, really nice. And of course, loop, which is really great. Uh, if you look on the screen, if I hit, uh, and I'm a, I'm a big arranger track guy. I, I love these, using the, uh, the different features that uh, the arranger track affords. So I'm, I'm here, and I, maybe I'm recording, I, I want uh, multiple takes on something, or maybe I'm just mixing a section by section, uh, loop right there. <laughs> 